My Text in Your Handwriting. In this video, we show how a user can use our interface to annotate a scanned handwriting sample. Annotating or tagging a sample is composed of three steps. First, the user aligns the scan page so that the handwriting sits on the line. Next, they extract a vectorized line from the handwritten text. Finally, they annotate the individual glyphs and their ligatures. Note that in our interface, these steps are performed semi-automatically, and our interface allows the user to intervene manually if necessary. In the case of non-joined up handwriting, many of these steps can be performed very quickly. The user begins by specifying the handwriting sample they wish to annotate and load it into our interactive annotation interface. For clarity in this video, we only show the tagging of a single sentence. The alignment phase consists of aligning the text to our interface's coordinate system. Here the baseline of the text must lie on the grid in the interface. Next, the interface automatically segments the text from the background of the page. If there are any problems with the segmentation mask, our interface allows the user to refine it using a paintbrush style interaction. Once the handwriting is segmented, we perform an automatic line extraction. This step converts the handwriting into a vectorized line representation. In the final step, we wish to associate the scanned handwriting and punctuation with its corresponding known alphanumerical text. Unlike standard handwriting recognition, here we know the input text and the challenge is to segment the vectorized lines into the corresponding characters and ligatures. The user enters the known text of the scanned sample. Our algorithm then extracts features and produces a probabilistic estimate for the location of each character on the vectorized lines. We then estimate the position of each character using a dynamic programming based solution with ordering constraints. As the user hovers over the image, we can see the corresponding character estimated by our algorithm in the bottom left of the interface. Again, the user can refine the result if there are any mistakes. In this example, the algorithm failed to separate the M and the P. To resolve this problem, the user can simply indicate where the separation between the letters occurs. Similarly here, they fix the separation between the O and the S.